Hey guys, so what I want to do here is just a quick uh, installation review or kind of a walkthrough sort of. Just an overlook at uh, the newest Chakra, which is Arch based Linux with uh, KDE 4 running on it. Um, I have tried several versions of uh, Arch based Linux um, to no success on this laptop here. Uh, as you can see, it's a compact Presario V3000. Pretty old, not anything to be all excited about. Um, only cool thing, it's got an 80 gig SSD in there, so it does run a little faster than usual. Um, just kind of want to show you this. I think it's pretty cool how easy they've made this for uh, uh, Arch Linux. So let's go ahead and do the installation here. And it starts up. You can see we get a nice, uh, well done installation GUI here. So it's, it's easy to use. Next, yada yada release notes. And this was pretty slick. Uh, most installations have a way to choose your uh, your your location for your time. Um, this is the first globe that I have seen that you can actually just move around here and choose where you live to get your time. That was pretty slick, I thought. Next, chakra laptop. Do do do. Documentation packages. Uh, sure. It looks like there's a couple options. Download and install documentation packages. Detect best mirror server and use it. Uh, let's do the best mirror. Don't really care about documentation packages. And next. Uh, <laughs> put in your information. Login name. And password, pretty standard installation stuff here. And just leave this little checkbox, use this password for the administrator root account. Next. So I'm pretty sure this is going to take me to the disk setup. Alright. Easy mode. Hmm. Don't see a way for it to take care of everything for you. Um, not a big deal if you're familiar with uh, partitioning your drive at all. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the partitions I already have. No big deal. And I will create a swap partition here. Two gigs. It's a little overkill considering I have two gigs of RAM, but who cares? Do primary and Linux swap. Now the default type here was on extended. I uh, didn't have a whole lot of file system options there, so I changed it to primary, and then I give me my file system options where I chose Linux swap. Now I have unallocated space to choose from. New, change this to primary. Extension 4 is fine, or ext4, whatever. I get in the habit of calling it extension. I know, I know where that comes from. <laughs> My bad. Hit OK. And click on my primary partition and next. Cool. Ready to install. Following settings. Partitions will be used. New partition, new partition, extension 4. SDA. Awesome. Let's see how long this takes. Really wish I had a stand for my phone. Yeah, recording this on my iPhone, by the way. Pretty cool.
right, now we get to the bootloader installation. Definitely leave the checkbox that says install bootloader. Uh, unless you have a different preference, in which case you're probably not even watching this video. Cool, installation completed. You have your choice of restarting the computer or keep using the live CD. Definitely restart. Sorry for the shaky hands, guys. Okay, spin out the CD, enter to continue. Well, that's a first. No grub issues on this one. Definitely a plus. Cool. Default login shows my user that I created. And it looks like it's not typing yet. There we go. And log in. Let's see if I can tilt this back. And we're booted. That was pretty quick. Not too shabby. Default menu, etc., etc. Bring up the web browser. And let's actually go to a real website. And we're on. Sweet. Very cool. Well, that was an installation of Chakra Arch-based Linux uh, KDE4. Pretty easy. No problems whatsoever. Definitely easier than any other Arch-based Linux distribution I've tried. So, we will uh, see you guys later.